Let's take a closer look at the gradient, both its magnitude and direction. We'll make it visual by looking at partial derivatives. Consider the point 2, negative 1, 6 on the paraboloid. First, the partial derivative with respect to x1. This is like slicing the paraboloid with the plane x2 equals negative 1. That slice is just a parabola. Now, as we take the derivative of that parabola, the slope changes. See how the red point moves along the curve and the tangent slope updates. At x1 equals 2, the tangent slope is 2 times 2 equals 4. This value, 4, multiplies the unit vector in the x1 direction. So we can draw a blue vector of length 4 along the x1 axis. Now, let's look at the x2 axis. We slice the paraboloid with the plane x1 equals 2. Taking the derivative with respect to x2, the slope magnitude is also 4. But since x2 equals negative 1 is negative, the slope is negative 4. So here we draw another blue vector, length 4, pointing in the negative x2 direction. That means the gradient vector points in this yellow direction, and the overall gradient magnitude is 4 times the square root of 2. 